not your typical beginning to a video. I'm, I'm here with Hello. my wife, <laughs> and I'm on my cell phone because I forgot my camera. Haha. <laughs> yeah, life of a YouTuber. Um, we're on our way to go look at a car for Ashley. We are in the Challenger right now, possibly trading it. I don't know. But uh, this is, uh, you guys will just have to see when we get there. It's, they're more of a rare car and kind of not something you would typically see us in. So, but she's excited. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We don't know if we're getting it or not. We're no. just going to look at one first. We're seeing for the lines. Yeah. With the universe. A brand new one does not align. No, it does not. A brand new one's over a hundred grand. You can't do that. No, no. <laughs> but if you get them after they have like 20,000 miles on them, then they drop significantly, like half. So, yeah, we're going to look at one. It's ex exciting. Now, before you guys say anything, I know trading a car in, you're gonna get taken. So we'll run through the car wash to, to oh, he just messaged me. The, to run through the car wash to make it look a little bit better. I did wash it this week, cam wash it and ceramic coat it. And then we had like a hurricane and now it's covered in tree debris and stuff. So why are you looking at me like that? I'm just cause to smack you. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna wash this thing up and then we're gonna go look at this car. I'm probably not gonna, if we don't get it, I'm not gonna video it. So, but we'll video one whenever we do get one. So this video, well, I don't know when this video will come out, but it, I mean, for you guys, it's whenever you're watching this. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it some. <laughs> I don't know if I if you need this much power. No, it's because you're jealous because you want something like this. Well, yes. Exactly. You gonna let me drive it? Maybe. You Wait. If we get it on the way home, you'll get to drive it. Is that it? That's pretty much it. <laughs> the one thing everybody said in the reviews is you'd hate this trackpad, and it's honestly easy to use. I mean, it's not a touchscreen, but honestly, this thing works really good. This is perfect for me when she drives. I can just one here and one here and just hold on for dear life. <laughs>
Bye-bye, Challenger. Bye-bye. I feel honored and privileged I get to drive my wife's car. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Yeah. Oh, there's a hat museum North Carolina. This steering wheel needs to come to me. me. There we go. That's better. We're gonna have to do uh, Sport Plus here. There we go. Gonna pull out into traffic. go over the specs because if I ask my wife what she liked about this car she's gonna tell you that it's pretty and that's all you're gonna get <laughs> this is a far more than a pretty car this is a sport luxury car it has pretty much everything that her car had minus all-wheel drive um, and uh, two more cylinders under the hood so this thing has a glorious Toyota 5.0 liter V8 that makes 471 horses. And to tell you honestly, I thought it would feel a lot faster than it does. Don't get me wrong, it thing runs great, it rips, but I'm I'm just saying this is probably in the same speed range as is this. They'd be close. It that would probably win just because of torque reasons, but and the 10 speed auto, which is awesome in this thing. But uh yeah, this is a 2018 Lexus LC 500, and uh, if you're looking at them new, they're over 100 grand. Now, if you're looking at them used with like 20 to 30 thousand miles on them, they're half that. It, I mean, some of them are. This was half of retail value. It's a 2018, 29 thousand miles on it, and it was half of what it went for retail new. So, I, it, it was a really good deal. Plus, for the trade-in of her. Challenger, which they did really good on that. The payment's way lower than you would expect. I'm not going to go into specifics. I'll just say that it's very reasonable. Less than what you'd have in a truck payment anyways. Or like a sports car if you didn't have something to trade in and, and have something to put down. I mean, it, it it's reasonable. And our car insurance went up like $10 a month. That's it. So, yeah, not bad at all. So don't mind the bejeweled license plate here, but uh, it does have remote start. You hit the lock button three times and you hold it on the third one. And then once it flashes, let off the key. Listen to this. <laughs> so I don't really understand the remote start because then whenever you hit the door handle or hit unlock, it shuts off. So I guess it's just to warm it up. You can't keep it running. Anyways, when you hit the unlock button, the door handle pops out so that you can get in. Very convenient. One of the things I really liked about this one in particular is the interior. The dark red suede. It's, I guess, burgundy and then leather. So it's leather on the sides and very soft. If you see that, like the headrest, your head just kind of sinks into it. They are very comfortable and they're heated and ventilated. You got a cup holder there and a cup holder there. Um, and really not, not you know, there's not a lot to see in here because there's a back seat, but who in their right mind is going to sit there? Because right here, right here is the room. That's with me in. When her in, maybe you might be able to fit somebody in it, but I don't know. The doors have dry carbon plates on them. And then look at the, the freaking Torx bolts and focus in on that. Look at that. Lexus Torx bolts holding that on. Um, everything about this is just very nice luxury. What it feels like is a luxury Corvette, honestly. It hugs the road. It's a heavier car, but it feels really, really good. Really not much to see under the hood unless you like plastic panels really like the headlights on this they're leds it looks like the headlight is way bigger than it is but this is the headlight this does have a 
PPF film on the whole front of the car so there's not a single chip on it. There it is. A 5 liter Toyota V8. So you know it's going to be reliable. Look at these freaking strut towers. I think they're aluminum. Yep. They're cast aluminum. Very nice and tidy in here. Honestly, with the angle of the heads, it wouldn't be hard to do spark plugs or anything like that in here. Let's see what it looks like under this beauty cover. Oh yeah, that's very, very appealing. Not really. <laughs> Engine bay could use cleaned up a little bit. Uh, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But just look at that muscular stance on that thing. Anyways, we're gonna go take it for a drive because my wife's gonna let me right now. <laughs> Very cozy in here. Push button start. I, I'm telling you that the exhaust note on this stock is wonderful. I need to turn the vented seat off over here. You can hear the fans running in it. Gauge cluster is pretty much an LFA gauge cluster. You can put it in Sport Plus or or a Sport Plus. That's Sport Plus or, or Sport. Sport Plus makes it look like LFA gauges. You hit this thing. It toggles that over to the side. You have your audio controls and other things you can put over there on that side. Really neat. Uh, that's actually the mechanical. That's not a digital screen. That's a whole gauge moving. Uh, this, um, the gear shifter, it's weird. Over and up for reverse, over and down for drive, and then you push that for park. Uh, it's a little weird. Track, you have to use a track pad to uh, use the infotainment system. A lot of people complained about that in reviews I watched, but honestly, it's very responsive. And everything, like every time it selects something, it taps back on my finger. Like I'm actually touching buttons. It feels weird, but it works. All right, we're gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna put it in normal mode. Um, I should add, I got this at Mannheim Imports in Mannheim, PA. Uh, bravo to them. I didn't realize, most used car dealerships, when you get a used car, you're not getting, you know, much for a warranty. With this thing, we got a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and that's just through them. Like, it's not, plus the Lexus uh, uh, warranty is still valid. So there you go, pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna be getting out here onto the main road. I wanna put it in Sport Plus. That changes the suspension, the shifts, everything. I might even put it in manual mode. Okay, we're in manual mode. This is a 10 speed automatic and it is glorious. It's not as fast as you would think. With 471 horsepower, you would think this would be a rocket ship for a little two-door car. But this is actually a very heavy car. I know it's over 4,000 pounds. I think it's like 4,700 or something like that. Uh, so it actually it feels very planted, very controlled. It doesn't feel outrageous. It's just a very nice refined ride, honestly. And the stock exhaust, man, it is good. And then back into normal mode, just like that. Oh, and back into drive mode. All right. Heads up display is really nice on this. I'm not sure if that's coming up on camera or not, uh, but it's very clear and crisp. So I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna get some uh, drone footage in a, in a couple uh, 
running shots and then uh, I want to see what you guys' thoughts are on this because uh, it's ours. Uh, the Challenger's gone and uh, my wife does not regret it. <laughs> she doesn't regret it at all. She said she did miss her Challenger, but I was like, really? She's like, no, nah, I like this. So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm back home. I got to return it because it's my wife's car, not mine. <laughs> so, but there's like now that it's getting darker, some ambient lighting that shines over here on that panel. There's some ambient lighting like down here in the footwells. I'm glad that it has two handles for me to grab a hold of when she's driving. That being said, do you think uh, this was a good purchase? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Seriously got 26 mile a gallon coming home. Probably could have got a little bit better than that, but it's, it's right around what I'm getting out of the Z, even like baby in it. So I think I've gotten 28 at the most, and that's highway six gear being as light on throttle as I can. It's It's got low gear. And the, honestly, it could have been geared higher and I would have got a lot better gas mileage. The automatic one I had, I got like 30 out of it, so. But yeah, this thing's bad. And if you guys for a second think that this is what I was talking about when I said that this was uh, on Rex year, it's not, okay? <laughs> Something else I'm hoping to come to the channel this year, and this was not it, okay? This was totally unplanned, but we're still going to make it happen. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom's jealous of my wife. <laughs> And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped. Huh? huh? Eh, ta da! <laughs> what what drew you to this vehicle? What was what what stuck out to you? Was it? Cause it's pretty. I knew it. I knew that was the answer. <laughs> How about you, kitties? Huh? He's like, you haven't got to ride in it yet. How you feel? Don't you try to bite me, you son of a... Look at this young gentleman. Hi. What? Quit. Ma you learned that from mommy. You you stick that thing down. Why? Oh, Stella. She's so excited. Hi. 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 What's this big, what's this big thing hanging out up here for? I want to pet you. Why won't you just let me love you? Huh? Why are you so defiant? He only loves his mom. He doesn't like me. Is it because I hold your paws? Is that? You want to say bye? No. You want to say bye-bye? Say bye. <laughs>